Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here. Today I'm here to show you how to get through the Lost City and get yourself the Green Gem in Crash Bandicoot 1 and the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy on PlayStation 4. So we're going to make our way over to the Lost City. Uh, keep in mind, this is one of the most difficult levels to get through without dying. I think I have done this video six times and died towards the end every single time. So I'm not perfect. Um, just trying to get you a clean video, and that is proving harder than initially anticipated. But we're going to get through it together, and this should help you, I hope. If you have any questions, please ask. So, something to keep in mind about this level, and pretty much all levels. In order to get a color gem out of the level, you cannot die. However, you can die in bonus levels. That means both the Tauna bonus level and the Embryo bonus level in this one. Or if a level has a Cortex bonus level, same thing. You could die in that as many times as you like. It's a bonus level. Because when you die in a bonus level, you don't actually lose a life. Keep that in mind. All right, so our first two boxes in this level are over here. We cannot jump over this. So what we have to do is we have to jump out towards the screen and hook around. Boom. So get ourselves a one up, whoops. Now, initially you may think I need to jump over and this is an easier way of bouncing over. It is an easier way, but we need this box. So we have to crush it. We have to go back the same way we came, just like that. And there's an Akuaku mask right here. I'm going to skip the timer because we're not doing a time trial. And that's really the big thing about this level and pretty much every level in this game. Take your time. Unless you're doing a time trial, don't rush. Game gives you th This level gives you three one-ups right in the beginning here. So take them. Oh, Jesus. All right. If that ever happens to you, you could jump and just kind of hook back around like you did in the beginning. But I just wasn't paying attention. All right, so we got a sinking platform. As soon as you touch it, it sinks. So we got to jump and then jump again. Kill this bat. All right. Now, this little alcove here contains a box, and inside this box is the first Tauna bonus room token. So we're going to go ahead and get that. Now, the way to get these chains of bats to stop is to kill the two end boxes. So in here, we have this box. It's a bouncing box. If you were to bounce on this box and not hold X, it would just seem like there's nothing in this room. However, I'm going to go over here to show you something. There is a wireframe box here with an embryo token above it. So that should indicate to you, shouldn't there be a switch somewhere? And there is. It's in this alcove. But you can only get it if you high bounce off of this box by holding X. So throughout this tutorial, I'm going to say high jump, long jump. What I mean by that is you're going to hold X to bounce higher or further. So jump on this and hold X, and you're going to hit the switch, and you will hear it. So we hit the switch. And that is now a box. So in order to get that token, we just got to high bounce off the box by holding X. Jump over there. Boom. Got it. 10 of 82 so far. Just going to jump on these moving platforms, or sinking platforms, rather. Kill the bat. Do a little bit of platforming here. Nothing, nothing too major. Kill this bat. Now, there's an Aku Aku mask over here. You can see the shadow. I couldn't tell you how to get it. No idea. Really no idea. If you know, let me know. I'm assuming maybe you could jump onto those push moving bricks and jump back out. I don't know. It's not important. Okay, we'll kill one bat. Go into the alcove. Two boxes. Nothing hidden in this one. Don't worry. But there is the second ton of bonus room token, so be careful not to spin that away. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Okay, next checkpoint, 13 of 82. All right, so this lizard is important. And the reason he is important is because there, an, an, there is an embryo token right there. So we need to bounce off of him in order to get it. Boom, got it. All right, this is the first real like difficult platforming section of this level. It's just time jumps, nothing big. One, two. Done. You could even go slower than that. Just trying to be fancy. Whoops. All right, so in the top left corner there, we have a gray exclamation point box again, the wireframe switch box. 
And that box is intended for the boxes above us. So I'll actually go up there real fast just to show you. And I'll drop back down. It's these right here. Those boxes in the back. So the best way to hit that is to long jump over there and then just fall straight on it. Do not try to bounce off in any direction. We're just gonna land, bounce off and then just land right back on it. Because there's a flame underneath us and if you touch that, you lose your mask or you die. So we'll just jump back over here. Okay, make our way back up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And as you can see, those boxes are now filled in. Checkpoint box and a red lizard guy over here. Don't worry about him, just kill him. You don't need him. Not the next one coming up, but the lizard after that, so the, the third one up here, you do need him. So don't kill them right away. Be patient, see what they're doing. Uh, and in here is the third embryo bonus token, so be careful not to spin it away. Boom, got it. All right, so going into the embryo bonus, we should have 21 of 82 boxes. Like I said earlier, you can die as many times as you like in this level, or uh, in this bonus level, sorry, uh, in this embryo bonus level, and it does not affect your chance at the green gem. So I need to act kind of fast here. So I'm going to explain what I'm going to do and then do it. So we're going to long jump over, hit the first TNT box. We're going to hold X, but we're not going to hold the direction once we land on it. Holding X, we're going to bounce straight up, and as we're going up, we're gonna spin and break that regular box. Go back down, jump over, keep holding jump, bounce straight up in no particular direction, spin, break the next one, jump over, and then long jump over to the steel platform that's waiting for us, okay? Here we go. Jump, spin, jump, spin, jump. Done. And we got three one-ups waiting for us. Cool. All right, this one is actually, it's not too hard. Um, this section is pretty easy. Just keep your thumb off the box button and you should be okay, the, the spin button. Uh, so we're gonna long jump over, hit that first TNT. It's gonna bounce us up. You can just hold the direction as you bounce over and you have a chance of breaking more boxes. You have to jump to break those four regular boxes over there. And then once you do that, get the hell off these TNTs the third TNT in that staircase, you can hit it and long jump all the way to the right. And there's going to be, I believe, two or three one-up boxes just floating in a row that you can hit. And then we're gonna land on the final platform with the exit, all right? Long jump over. Boom, one, two, three. Got it, done. 21 of 21 boxes. And that's gonna leave us with 42 of 82. So 40 boxes to go. Most of them are in a bonus level, actually. All right, so these shifting platforms are a nightmare. They are sort of bugged sometimes. I've seen videos of bugs with these where once you jump over them, they start moving. So for this one, you can jump straight to the middle. So just aim for that lump of fruit and just jump. Same thing, jump to the platform. Long jump. Get the one up. Now right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump to this uh, column, jump back over, and then jump over again and kill that thing. Because once we land on this column, he's gonna start jumping over. So jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Straight up, no direction, done. Okay, jump over here. I'm gonna kill this bat. And then we have these moving platforms to deal with here along with a bat chain coming for us. It's difficult to time, uh, I'm not gonna lie. But we got it, no big deal. Uh, just try to time it as best you can. You can just kind of sit there and wait and watch it and get comfortable with the timing. But once you're committed, just commit. Don't try to back and jump off because you're gonna die. Just commit and commit to your mistake if you make one. So these bricks that are being pushed out for these first two sections, it's two, three, two. These first two sections do not start going until each section is all the way out. So we're gonna wait, wait. Now go, 
See how they come out and stay out? If they're coming out and going back in in a weird order, you don't want to do that. We're going to go now. Easy. This one's a lot easier. It's just one, two, in. One, two, in. No big deal. This lizard we need. So, obviously there's a box in the middle that we wouldn't be able to reach by a normal jump. So we need to use Mr. Lizard over here in order to get it. We'll jump over here, and then once he makes his way back to the middle, we're gonna jump on him and hold X to do a high jump and get him. You may not actually need to high jump, but it's just good to do. Okay. Now, this is what I think is the most difficult platforming challenge of this level. And the reason for that is because of those bats and stuff on the platforms. A good rule of thumb is when you're dropping onto a platform with an enemy on it, if that enemy can be spun away, spin just before you hit the ground and you'll spin him instead of bouncing on him. All right? We're gonna wait one more wave of bats and then we're gonna go. Okay, let's go. Just like that. Gonna get over there, spin him away. Make our way up. Third Tauna bonus token. Make our way into what is, in my opinion, one of the worst bonus rooms in this game. The reason for that is because there's six boxes here in a row. At the end of these six boxes, there are 16 bouncing boxes stacked eight and eight. And the best way to deal with these is to not actually bounce on them constantly. It's to high jump off the sixth box in this row and spin and try to break as many of the top row as you can and do your best to keep track of, of what you're hitting on the bottom. Like I said earlier, you can die as many times as you want in a bonus level and it doesn't count towards your green gem progress. So if you're having a hard time with this, just keep trying it and you'll get it. So here we go. We're gonna jump, we're gonna high jump off the sixth box and spin to break as many boxes in the top row as possible and then clean it up. One, two, three, four, five, high jump, spin. That was close. One, two, three, four, five, one. I don't know the count. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, Five, one, 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 one. I hate bonus levels like that. Hate them. They are not fun. And they're not easy. They should leave us with 79. Yeah, okay, 79 boxes. So, this moving staircase platform, whatever you want to call it, rotating, whatever. The trick here is jump as far as you can, and then immediately jump again once you hit it, and aim for the center. So just long jump, and then short jump to the center. Just get yourself to the center as quickly as possible. Do the same thing, get into that one-up box. So long jump, and then just get to the one-up box as hard as you can. It's never easy. Same thing here, just get to the middle. Okay, that lizard is the bane of my existence. You cannot spin him, and if you touch him, he will push you off of this thing and kill you. And we are 80 of 82 boxes. The end is right after this dude. So what I want to try to teach you to do is instead of just going all the way over, try to land on the edge of this building's platform. Kind of far away from him, but still safe. So long jump and then jump and try to control your jump to where you're not gonna touch him, where you're gonna land kind of next to him, okay? This is why this video took six tries. If this is even the sixth try. Stay, that's it. You have won. You have won this level if you can make it this far without dying. He's gonna jump over here, we're gonna jump on him. We wait patiently, make our way over here. He's gonna start jumping, it's the same concept as before. We need this lizard, and we need him in the middle. So we're gonna jump over once he moves. And once he makes his way back to the middle, we're gonna high jump off him and hit that box. One, two, done. 
your green gem will appear right here. And that's it. 82 of 82 boxes, no deaths, both bonus levels. That's it. That is a Lost City. That's how you get the green gem in this level. I hope I explained everything as well as I possibly could. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to answer. Uh, you guys can follow me on social media. Twitter is the best way to get in touch with me. I'm at SJ Cage. Social media links are in the description uh, below. Uh, I'm always available on Twitter. It's usually the best way to get a hold of me. Um, I will also put a link to the 100% walkthrough playlist that I made for this game. I just go through each level, not like this, not talking, uh, just going through playing, and you can kind of copy my play style if you want to get all the gems. I haven't done any time trials in this game. I probably won't for a while. I'm playing through Final Fantasy XII right now. I think that's it. Uh, I'll also put a link to the specific walkthrough for this level without my talking, just in case you want to skip around and see what I do. But that's it. That's how you get the green gem. This is one of the hardest levels to do, aside from like High Road or Road to Nowhere, uh, without dying. So yeah, there you have it. All right, guys. I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.